the idea that there were two Jakes. Those were all lies, and his friends never believed them. You know, if it weren't for you and Jake's other friends, this case quite possibly would never have been solved. I believe that Jake's several buddies on the mat and his friends outside, we were the ones that, that pushed this to get this solved. His family kind of underestimated his second family, didn't they? Absolutely. Now it's the end of the story of what happened to Jake Millison. His friends fought for him. His family fought against him. And in the end, it's hard to tell who won. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Friday at 9, 8 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is out of the city of industry. Officials say a girl in her late teens died in the lobby of an L.A. County Sheriff's Station after she was able to get a hold of a deputy's gun and shoot herself. It happened just before 8 tonight at the station in the city of industry. Officials say she got into an altercation with a deputy. Then she took the deputy's gun. No deputies were injured. And our first alert weather, bursts of hail, thunderstorms, flooding, landslides, even rescue. That's what a spring storm brought to Southern California today. And NBC4's Anastasia almost witnessed all that damage across the area. And it was crashing onto the windows and it sounded like popcorn was popping from a microwave. It was crazy. People in Eagle Rock were shocked by a sudden hailstorm Sunday afternoon. The skies were clear and all of a sudden you see all the, these dark clouds coming in and then it was hailing really bad. The first storm of spring in L.A. started with a small landslide in the Hollywood Hills. You can see the soil the movement from above in News Chopper 4. And from the ground, the dirt still slowly falling down the hillside in the afternoon. L.A. City Fire says three homes are now red tacked after dirt and large rocks crashed into the houses on the side of the hill. Around 4 p.m., NBC LA viewers sent us video as the storm intensified over Eagle Rock. Hail, a quarter of an inch in size, pounding patio furniture on this balcony. Video from East LA shows the dark skies and hail from the second story of an apartment complex. And some residential roads flooding off East First Street. The hailstorm oh reaching as far God. as the San Gabriel Valley, captured in video from Azusa. There we go. As the storm headed south, L.A. County Swiftwater Rescue Teams responded to a woman swept away in the L.A. River in Studio City. Everybody was running. Police are going through. Get out of the way. We've got it. Yeah, it's scary. Jennifer Singer came out of her home when she heard sirens and helicopters. It was causing so much wind, causing the water to kick up. Firefighters raced against time to save the woman in knee-deep water with a 15-mile-per-hour current, eventually hoisting her to safety. It's scary that people are falling into the L.A. River. I don't know what they were doing. I'm glad they're safe. Reporting in Los Angeles, Anastasia Olmos, NBC4 News. And our coverage of this wild weather continues now with meteorologist Stephanie Olmo. Yeah, it was a pretty wild afternoon. We had like uh, some like we were mentioning it was earlier this morning. It was clear. It was a gorgeous start to the day. And then all of a sudden it just started popping up. And I was talking about the, and I'm talking about the storms. We saw hail, gusty winds across the area. Right now we're looking at quiet conditions as we check out downtown LA off at a distance. Clear skies. Temperatures right now sitting at 57 degrees and uh, temperatures will continue to cool as we head into late tonight. Here's a look at the numbers right now. It's a chilly 47 in Ontario, as well as in San Bernardino and Riverside, 51 in West Covina, 55 for you in Van Nuys, uh, 54 in LAX. As we check out here, the satellite and radar. So again, it was very busy earlier today. Things continue to quiet down as we continue. We zoom out. That storm continues to race its way to the east. So things are looking better for us as we head into the next couple of days. It was a bit gusty earlier today. We're still dealing with breezy conditions in some areas with sustained winds around 16 miles an hour for you in Long Beach. Uh, definitely a little bit windier in Oxnard. The winds will be an issue yet again as we head into tomorrow, but not as gusty. Stay tuned. We'll check out how the work week is shaping up to look like coming up here in just a bit. For now, back to you guys. We'll see you soon, Stephanie. Thank you. It is the biggest.